Hello, I'm Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. Now, we all would like to have workshops which are bigger than they are. And working in a small space, particularly if it's cramped with various tools and machines and benches, can be a bit of a challenge. Now, we've all been used to moving things around. Now, I've made this folding trestle just to help out with uh, the problems of space in this particular workshop. But there are other things you can do. You can buy machines which are light enough to move around, like this Festool CMS unit. And this is what I do when I want to use a table saw. But there are other ways. Now, my UJK writer table comes with its own set of mobility wheels, so I can move it around the workshop. You've probably seen my video where I made the caster carriage for this planing machine from Axminster. And this planing machine weighs nearly 160 kilograms. And yet I'm able to move it around the workshop with absolutely no problem at all. And when this machine is not in use, I can move it around the workshop wherever it needs to be. And it's got the added advantage of having these drawers. So, a mobile stand can double up as not only a base for a machine, but also as a storage base as well. And my heavy duty workshop cleaner is on its own casters. It works pretty well. And even this extractor is on a little base which I can wheel around and it's got a couple of drawers underneath which are jolly useful too. But how about something completely different? I'm in the process of making a mobile workbench. And this one is on casters, again from Coldeen in the UK. This isn't finished yet, but look how easy it is to move it around. And in this video, I'm not going to tell you how I go about making the bench, but I'm going to tell you about how I went about making the bench mobile. Now, of course, the key to this project for me are these heavy-duty industrial casters from Colding. And the reason they're so important is that they will not uh, give way in any sense under the weight of whatever I put on top of this bench. But at the same time, they will allow me to move this bench anywhere I like within the workshop. So it's going to be really versatile. Excellent. Now, uh, ordinarily, uh, one might put a caster at a corner of a bench or whatever it might be. And that's okay if it's just going to be pushed around in a workshop and used for storage. But if you're using it as a working platform, it's far better to try and bring out uh, those casters just a little bit because it improves the footprint and makes the whole thing just a little bit more stable. So in order to do that, I've created these little extensions which go around here and that then allows the casters to be brought out just a bit more and uh, the ones at the, on the other side are just straight ordinary uh, right angle pieces like this but the ones on this side are slightly different I've got this raised piece here and the reason for that is that I can then put an extension to that platform area in here and it would be level then uh, with that higher section. So that's the idea. And I've made these up already, and there's a, uh, a domino in there uh, holding these two bits together, and they'll be screwed in into the frame. Well, we've got to the exciting part now. I'm going to put the casters on, and uh, then we can turn it over, and suddenly it will take a life all of its own. So I'm going to pre-drill these, uh, because the screws I'm using are 6 millimeter by 30 millimeter screws because the holes in these plates are pretty big super now, if you're buying casters, which are going to be used in a workshop, they must have brakes on. 
but you also need to make sure that when the brakes are applied that they also stop the caster from doing this because it's all very well having the wheel locked but if the caster itself can still turn freely like that then the bench will not be stable and you can see the locking mechanism is all built in here take that off and it can freely rotate again and then lo and behold a new bench is born and look at that it moves around so easily on these nice big industrial casters and they're gonna really lock off really well when I don't want the thing to move that's just two of them locked there's a third and let's just lock off the last one and look at that absolutely solid as a rock really is brilliant I've learned a lot of lessons over the years after buying cheap casters and you really shouldn't do it and so now I'm going for these casters from Coldeen uh, they're really good quality and I know they're going to stand the test of time the great thing about Coldeen is they treat me when I buy one or two pairs of casters just the same as they would a customer who's buying one or two pallet loads of casters and that's really good I'll be showing the actual making of the bench in a separate video and uh, but for now I just want to get the message across about these super duper casters so let's put that waltz music back on again hey <laughs>